Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please prepare a friend. Today is December the 27th, 2011. It's month, uh, it's actually Tuesday. And uh, we're going to be looking at three individual markets today, like we do every day. So take a look at this. We look at the BSC, or the India Bombay Stock Exchange here. Uh, I wouldn't be trading this to the long side, but you did get a um, buy signal here, a counter trend trade move here because you were in an overall downtrend, or still are in an overall downtrend, lower lows, lower series of highs. And you got a uh, trade signal here that you could have traded to the counter trend. However, if you're going to be going long, I would hope you would be looking for uh, stronger charts than this, and nobody would be in this. But if you are, you should be out already. You've already moved up here, touched the bull up, uh, middle Bollinger Band line, and now rolling back over to continue the uh, real trend, which is a lower. Someone's bound to ask, uh, is it a good time to short this? And I, I wouldn't personally, because I like to do my shorting using this timing indicator. You can use the slow stutch. If I'm in a downtrend and looking for short opportunities, I want to find situations where the slow stock is above the uh, negative 80 line or breaking down below it. So in a situation like that, you may go short. But in this case here, we come up here, touch this middle Bollinger Band line, rolling over here. But you'll notice we're not very, uh, we're nowhere near where I need to be for my timing for entering in a short position. So I wouldn't. I would just leave this one alone. We're also going to look at the Hong Kong Hang Sing Index, or the HSI, and this particular chart has got a series of, not the high point here, you've got a high point, let's call it here, um, pulls down here, and then here, and then here, and you get a series of lower highs and higher lows. Well, that's uh, conflicting signals right there, so what you actually know is sideways is the move. That's the only direction you have to go in a situation like that. You may break to the upside, you may break to the downside, but at this point in time, we don't really know the trend is giving us conflicting signals. If you traded this guy to the upside on your buy signals that you had here, uh, the safe money has been made. I'd be exited on that one. The last chart we're going to look at today would be the EWG, uh, I'm sorry, EWJ or the Japan iShares. Uh, what we have here is a high point, moves down here, lower high, moves down here higher low sideways trading activity uh, there's really no uh, it's a counter trend move at best so uh, that, that trades moved up here pretty much done you may bounce around in here you may actually get some strength at some point and move higher if the US markets continue to move higher but uh, right now there's just no direction here these guys are not the leaders and therefore they're just kind of in the sea of who knows what's gonna happen so keep that in mind okay Remember, every single night I'll do a market analysis on three individual d different charts, so uh, uh, check those out every single night, okay? And thank you guys for your support. God bless. Take care, and I'll see you all manana. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.